Where's the Where's the confirm? I don't see it. Uh, should be. Oh. Yeah, so once you this? join, there should be a little front page. It should bring you to the welcome. There's some rules, and then. What and then. There? Says, Please click the. What is that? Uh, it's just there should be a little button right below that says like 14 next to it. If you click that. It's a little demon. What what is that picture? Of? It's a demon. You want me to yeah. click a demon to join your server? Yeah, yeah. Click click the little thinking demon. It's me. It, that's me. I can't even do it. I got you. Hold up. I'm gonna just DM you uh, my, my my Discord. Okay. Well, you can't click the demon. I don't want to click the demon. Wait, it's just what? my little demon. It's just a thinky I know. demon. I Wait, know I are you like religiously opposed to it or? Uh, yeah, very much. I'm oh, like a, a okay. Very hyper religious person. All right, yeah. all right. That's fine. I mean, do you? I don't know about... All right, there we go. Bam. Okay. There we go. All right, so let's let's talk. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about it. So what 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 did you have a problem with that I said? Oh, a lot. Okay. Before okay, sure, we even sure. get into like the like the the breadth of our arguments, first I gotta address one thing that I felt like was just not fair. Sure. And so you almost tried to characterize me. It felt like as a sexist of some kind, as if my argument that you were take you were talking too long was somehow rooted in sexism. When I was just making commentary on the fact that it felt like you had gone on for a while, and I'd been trying to get in a word edgewise, and then as I was trying to respond, you then cut me off to go ahead and give another response, in which I responded, "Go on for ten minutes." And then you said that had to do something to do with sexism. Yeah, I mean, I, I said it was a sexist trope. It is a sexist trope. Um, uh, people constantly do this to me. I, I'm literally, um, me and nearly every other woman, I went on an entire panel with 10 other women streamers, and they all get constantly told how much they talk, even though they talk a pretty much objectively exactly the same as anyone else. It's a, it's been like, like this has been researched. It's, it's like, there's literally numerous studies that talk about like how frequently that, that not only do people um, like they overestimate, um, how much, um, women talk and then they underestimate how much men talk. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's been around for a while. So yeah, yeah I mean, I think it's a, I think it's a sexist trait. I was, I don't think you're sexist. I just think it, it is a sexist trope. Okay. Um, but you understand in that specific panel that you absolutely spoke significantly more than me, correct? Oh, no way. No way. I'd be willing, I'd be willing to, I'd be willing to put money on it. I'd love to go would, back in time. I would, I would literally put any amount of money. We could actually look at this. And here's the reason why yeah, I totally. almost spoke very, I spoke close to nothing at all during the first portion. Of oh, the maybe, panel. maybe over the whole time. debate. If you want to talk about sure. the whole debate, but that's not really fair. If you don't choose to take part in one of the issues, like, well, no, okay. So, and then even in the second one, like, uh, so, okay. So, so during that time, yeah. like, yeah, you had spoken significantly more than me. And oh. then when it came time to the debating time, I mean, when, when it came to the topic that I was actually invested in, then you spoke every Every bit as much as me, if not more. No way. And especially in, in that given portion no. of the conversation. No, nah, nobody even you in my chat agrees with that. No, that no, yeah, I, I barely, I literally was silent for like a huge portion of that second part. But yeah, I mean, like, look, I again, I don't think you're a sexist. But I do think that's a sexist trope, and it's something you should be aware of. Like, I'm not going to back down on something like that. Like, it is literally a well-established sexist trope that. But people... it doesn't matter if it's well-established if it's, oh, sure if it's it quantifiable and it's accurate. No, 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 no. I mean, no would you say thing? Would you say that about any other form of discrimination? Sure. If something is quantifiable and accurate, yeah. sure. Do you I, would, think it... I would. So in other words, hold on. I'll give an example of that, why we can't come to these conclusions. Right. I can't automatically assume that I didn't get a job because I'm racist. I can assume that maybe I didn't get it. If I'm unqualified for the job and someone's saying, here are quantifiable reasons why we weren't giving you the job versus this more qualified person. I'm not going to yeah. scream racism because sometimes there are qualifiable judgments. And this is if this is a qualifiable and quantifiable judgment, then to automatically assume that it was sexist, it was rooted in sexism is just unfair. Um, no, I don't think so. Like, I think it's possible to point out something as a sexist trope, um, without necessarily saying that the only thing that could possibly inform it is, um, oh, hey, sorry, don't mean to interrupt. Hey, thank you so much, Vermin. Really appreciate that. Happy to have the host. I'm going to be talking for a little bit longer. So good debate content. We're talking about stuff. So yeah, thanks for the host. Appreciate that. I just needed to shout that out. Um, but, um, yeah, no, I don't. I don't think that there's anything um, wrong with. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with pointing out something as a sexist trope. Like, for example, to use one that's sort of more neutral. Um, like, if you were to, um, if somebody was like, if you were arguing with somebody who is Jewish and you accuse them of being like stingy or money grubbing they could say hey that's a jewish trope you should be careful of and you would they would be correct to say that they'd be 100 correct to say that maybe you didn't mean that's it that way well but no, maybe no, you no, didn't mean it that problem. way but 
No, 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 no. That's not the issue. The sure. issue wouldn't be whether or not something is a trope. Making a, making a statement about something being a trope or, or uh -huh. not, that's something that we can say is true or isn't. But it's whether or not, the, it's not just the fact that you pointed out what a trope is. It's the fact that you tried to imply that my reasoning for making the assertion that you were over-talking me and not allowing me to get in my word was based on the trope. And that's where I have the objection to it. Okay. It's not whether or not it's true. You can always point out something is true. Like I could say, after not getting a job that I didn't qualify for, Hey, you know what? Racism a lot of times, you know, uh, inhibits people of color from getting specific mm. uh, jobs, whatever. Yeah. And that might be a true statement, well, yeah. but saying it and saying it in the context in, of, of, in which somebody is justified in their hiring a more qualified person is dismissive to the actual um, to the to the actual claim of the individual. Um, I don't think so. I don't think that's true. I don't agree with you on that. True. No, I don't think you're right on that. I think that it that you could point out a trope without implying like I don't think I was implying you were you are sexist. In fact, I didn't say that. I specifically no, I, I specifically that. chose my like that. But that's the thing. But that's the argument you're making right now. The argument you're making no. is that like that it's not fair to call something out as a sexist trope because there's a chance that it that they weren't doing it sexistly. No, that's not the argument I'm making. I'm sorry, you're strawmanning me. So I'm not saying that it's not it's not fair to call out a trope just because it's whatever. If, if there's a chance, I'm okay. saying it's unfair to call out call it out based on a trope if it's well qualified if yeah, but i don't fair. think it is though i don't think it is okay so and i mean you could where the here, argument here's where i'll here's where, where i'll well here's about. where i'll welcome it um i will accept that you're correct and that it that you weren't using a sexist trope if you can go back and you can actually justify that you that you talked significantly less than me during that segment but i know you can't Okay, well, no, and that's not because I know I know very well how much I did. It's just something it's I think about, about all the brother. time because, as it turns out, dudes tell me all the fucking time how much I talk all the time, no I matter how much I talk. I, I might not I talk care. for an entire panel, so yes, I'm just saying, will, I, yeah. Okay, but I refuse. Number one, I refuse to be punished for the actions. Of oh, I'm not punishing individual. you. I'm just. Uh, I did. It is. It is. Wait, wait. Let me finish my statement again. Can I finish my statement? Sure, sure, sure. Go for it. All right. So one, I refuse to be punished for the actions of an of another individual. And two, again, if something is qualified within a specific circumstance, then the idea that you would appeal towards a trope when it happens to be justified is unfair and unfounded. And and for both of those reasons, and and and, and uh, the third thing is, it's not a matter of my inability um to be able to prove to you that you talk more. It's my unwillingness. Like okay, if sure. you want to maintain like that that i i only made this accusation because of a trope that's your that's your prerogative to do so i just wanted to reassert the idea that that's absolutely not what happened mm -hmm. um like i know for a fact you t I, mean, I can't say for a fact i feel very very strongly that you absolutely were speaking over me and not allowing me to finish the work mm -hmm. i feel like both you and pisco did that i never got to finish like almost any sentence well i mean um, yeah that's fine you can feel that way all you'd like but i mean yeah you know feelings yeah, are one thing you know Sure, it's, that happens um, to be the case. Do, would, yeah, would you sure. like to? Are you going to take the time to quantify it? No, because I know I'm right, okay, and, and so you're the one who's arguing my position. Yeah, I'm. I'm like no, no, I'm no, 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 perfectly no, 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 comfortable. No, no, no. You know, well, look, here's the thing. This is the difference. Right? I'm. I'm perfectly comfortable with what I said. I don't take back anything. Of course, anything you're perfectly that, comfortable yeah. because you're the one levying an attack. Wait, absolutely. Yeah. So if you want to defend okay, yourself so from that, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me talk now because now it's my turn. Um, if if that's the case, and you're trying to, and and I've you know said this thing, which. Is a, fa is a fact. It is a trope. And that's what I said it was. I didn't say anything else. I didn't accuse, I didn't punish you for anyone else's crimes. I levied, I said, hey, nice sexist trope that you brought out there, which you did bring out a sexist trope. Whether you meant it that way or not, you did. We already, we already both agreed on that much. So if that's the case, no. and then you don't agree with that, well, I mean, uh, I'm more than willing to say that's not the case. I strongly believe that I didn't talk more than you in that case. Maybe I talked over you a little bit. Everybody does that in a debate. You did that plenty of times to other people. We can go back and watch the VOD over and over again. I could do a full fucking takedown. But the thing is, you've just said here you're unwilling to even look into the fact to determine whether you thought it was. I don't care because I already yeah. know because I've already made my case. But sure, if you want to do that, we could go do that. It's just I don't know if that's what you want to do for content. I'm not going to do it on my stream content. That's for sure. That bore the fuck out of everyone my audience sure, already no. knows what happened so yeah i'm definitely not going to do that and yeah again, i think this is just this yeah is i know I, I know it, it, it's really it's well, really every time i go to talk there it is you're doing it again wait, right, wait so you yeah, said a statement point, I, and I, I was literally still talking and you literally started speaking after i said less than seven words okay Okay, so yeah, th this is the thing that you you, you you want to continue to do, and like it's almost like you're trying to create some sort of uh like value, like you're like you're like assigning some value towards this thing, like well yeah, like you're unwilling to, and it's like no 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 no, we're both unwilling to. I'm unwilling to look up to look into it because I feel as strongly that you do. 
Um, so it, it, yeah, it's, it's almost like you're approaching this as if you have some sort of moral high ground when you don't, all you have is your baseless unfounded accusation, Wait. which I completely disagree with. The only difference here is of course you're on, in the comfort of being the person that's making the attack because you're the one on the attacking. I'm the one that has to try to defend my character against someone who wants to make baseless gas accusations. I don't right. even know how we can have a reasonable, safe oh, conversation. Okay. If I recognize that you're going to maintain this idea that you're some sort of victim, despite the fact that you were literally speaking over me the entire debate, I don't know how we even have a conversation. Um, with with all due respect, this is like really like kind of sad, like yeah, um sure. because the thing is is like I made a very simple comment, which if you actually if you want to actually talk about, it, I never called you a sexist, never did anything. You're acting like you're playing like a mega victim here. Like I made sure. some horrible attack against your personality when all I said was nice sexist trope, which it is, and it is a sexist trope. And the reason and anyway, there's literally I go back and watch my debates all the time. I re-edit my debates all the time, so I'll be able to do this. It's just I'm not going to take my stream time to make to like assuage your ego because you're mad that I called you out on a sexist trope. Like, who cares? Like, I mean, get over it. Like, are you really, is that, is that much of a, are you that much of a victim about it? Can you not handle like any banter on that? Like, I mean, fuck, I, I'm a I, woman I, in this space. I get, I get this shit all the time, constantly. I feel like you'd be able to handle a little bit of me going nice sexist trope, my dude, and not be yeah. like, oh, I'm being, I'm being slandered. Yeah. So again, I don't think it has anything to do with the amount of whether or not I can handle it. It's just whether or not I think that we could even continue a conversation in good faith in which somebody is unwilling to admit something that they're doing is wrong, or they're trying to appeal to this ignorance idea, this ignorant idea that some kind of way that the trope that they mentioned wasn't relevant to my character or wasn't relevant to my actions. It's very mm -hmm. heavily implied when you mention mm -hmm. a sexist trope in that context that obviously you're implying that I must be sexist in order to be invoking no. such a sexist trope. It I is very much that. implied. No, it I is don't. very much implied. And the fact that you would try to deny that makes you makes me feel like you're literally trying to uh, like, no. like like as if I'm as if as if you're assuming I'm ignorant. And oh, absolutely ridiculous. not. No, I 100% disagree with you. I think you're talking out your ass right now because sure. um because here's the thing. There's all kinds of ways. For example, I think there's all kinds of ways that people engage in all kinds of isms of all types, whether it's racism or sexism, without necessarily being a like capital R racist or a capital S sexist. I think you can do those things. In fact, I'm sure we all have. I think everyone has. I'm very consistent in this view. Um, so yeah, I don't think so. But I think it is, um, I think it's perfectly fine within the heat of a debate um, for when I get, once again, I'm, almost every single panel I go on, every, somebody always says it. When somebody br brings out the old sexist trope, sure, I'm going to I'm gonna say that. I have no problem with that. And I'm surprised that you're being so fragile about that, that you're unwilling to take even that little thing. And, and, and knowing that I chose my words very carefully, that I didn't call you a sexist. I said, nice sexist trope as like a tiny comment and that's enough to get you like to come on here and then not even actually that's that's your main thing that you came on here to debate with me about didn't you have something bigger to debate about or is it like is this just sure. about like about like 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 massaging your ego I get it. Yeah. So I guess in your eye, I, I think it, I, I think I finally understand. Like, yeah, we're probably not capable of having a conversation because I don't think you're capable of actually like honestly um, conducting one. Oh, I, I mean, think if you, you think so, I don't, I don't think, I don't think you recognize what you're constantly doing. For one, you like, like you reply that I'm weak. Then next thing you know, you, first you apply I'm sexist. Then when I call you out on it, it's like, oh no, so you're kind of being weak here. Like, like really, like this is all you have. Then next thing you know, you're yeah. like, like you, you just like, you constantly levy attack after attack after attack for somebody literally calling you out on your initial attack. Oh, Oh, yeah, I absolutely. You, instead of you, and, and then, and then instead of like, like it'd be the equivalent of me, like, like again, giving that example of somebody doing something that maybe they have like whatever justification for, right? Like, um, somebody saying like, no, I don't want you to marry my daughter, and then I go, mm, yeah, racist people normally don't want me to do that. And it's like I'm not inviting your mm. racist. I'm just pointing out sort of like tangential. No, that's actually nothing. Uh, that's extreme, literally the fact extreme, that you wait, wait. Extreme, let me finish my statement. Extraneously, I'm just pointing out the idea that yeah, this happens to be like or oh, this. this this, this sometimes is founded in racist ideology. Not right now, not you specifically, and you're wrong if you interpret it as if I'm pointing it out because you're racist. I'm just saying this is something that happens to be well-founded in historic racist ideology. Freak out of here. Like, come well, on, The man. fact that you had to spin to a completely different example of something completely different that literally isn't even close to what I said proves that you have no idea that you're not being honest in your own engagement. Because An analogy? Yeah, that analogy was bullshit. First of all, being like, that's oh, that's very racist of you. That's very very different. I said nice, nice sexist trope, which it is a sexist trope. It is a well-known okay. sexist trope. So, and I, I believe you engaged in it honestly, and you came on here to functionally whine about it. So yeah, at this point, I think I'm perfectly fine with saying this is like a primo example of like male fragility.
At this point, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Look. Yeah, I mean, 100%. Say, you're you're mad. So that, you're that, mad. That, 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 okay, so if I can respond to that, this is another example. Yeah, so you're mad that you got that, blown I, the fuck I, out I, by I, a girl. I, I That's respond. what it is. I so I can't respond? So I mean, gonna do here? I mean, I don't know. Are you just going to keep whining about it? Because that's what it sounds like. I thought we were going to talk about like religion All or something right. of substance, but instead you're just mad that you got called out on the fact that you used a sexist trope and you can't just take the L. And you're sitting here in front of this entire audience of people embarrassing yourself because you refuse to just be like, yeah, maybe I did do that or who cares? Yeah. So listen, here's what- And I'm you can't even now. engage with it. Honestly. So again, you literally, I, it's hard to even respond because I get it. You just want to keep going on and now on. Now take the L, my dude. This is embarrassing. <laughs> You want to just keep going on and on and t talking in paragraphs? Do you do you actually want me to respond or not? No, I, well, I mean, I, I like oh, you're not capable. I get it. So that's what it really boils down to. So you want to keep on using these tropes. You go, you you keep using these tropes, right? Where you want to start talking. Oh, this is male fragility, or oh yeah, you're whining, or oh, oh yeah, yeah, you're, you're doing that right now. You're actively whining right now. You are. There's a hundred so people really, watching you whine. What I realized what I, what I finally come to the realization is, is that you literally are not capable of having a conversation. Oh yeah, definitely. Sense. That's You're what it is. You're, you came on my time, channel. This, fanatic, this, fanatic, this, please, this, please, this, this, please. This, this, this entire time, you literally keep trying to speak over me. And literally every time I'm trying to point out how what you're doing is not, in, not conducive of a good conversation, your first instance is just to go ahead and double down on it or try to find another attack to levy. And what's gross about it is you're so crash and you're so low character that you're mm. not I'm not even embarrassed by it when I'm pointing it out. To no, you, I'm not at all so because obvious. I haven't done any of those things. And you have failed. You have failed to make an argument whatsoever. And instead, you've simply walked into my chat and in front of an audience of over 100 people have whined for 10 minutes with no argument. Yeah. And the arguments you brought up, I immediately showed and highlighted that were not correct. So it's not a matter of me not a, of, of, of me not being willing to. It's that you don't, you're not making an argument. You're not actually making sure. anything. And the example that you brought up had nothing to do well, with no, what I actually said. Okay, can you tell me which portion of my of the example I brought up was disanalogous? Oh which yeah, part? absolutely. The part where you said that um that me saying nice t nice sexist trope dude is the same thing as being that that's very racist of you. Those are literally two different things and one is explicitly means something completely different than the other. So you can't even use an analogous example oh, because it would make oh, you look no. bad. I get it. I get it. Your brain is okay. So we're this we're running into a problem here. So you understand that when you're talking about analogy that the features of the analogy are not going to be identical but still the principle can be obtained. I'll help walk you through it since it seems like something you're incapable of doing. Yeah, so hey, hey, look at that. that. So, so, so the analogy, There's the that analogy, condescension, so, yeah, male course, fragility. Was, of course, that's what it is. So, it's, so I'm condescending but fragile. Stri Got it. Yeah, you so are anyway, condescending and fragile. It's oh, abso this, absolutely, 100%. This thing that happens hey, the chat. You're really incapable of, you're incapable of engaging in a conversation. Your only thing is to try to- No, it's funny. Labor. I have, I, here's the thing. Only, Wait, it's only, funny you said that. Your only recourse is to try to attach a label towards it so then and hopes no 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 somehow and, and hopes that somehow that by you attaching a label it somehow wins you some sort of favors and then your in your entire confirmation is based on your own biased chat it's ridiculous wait wait you want to you want to know what's funny I haven't, made, I haven't made a single appeal towards my chat but it's fine right. it's okay i mean so you, i mean i don't day, know yeah. maybe your chat disagrees with you i don't know i'm not watching your chat the, pa the fact yeah. of the matter is that you've come in here and whined about this i've made actual arguments yeah. to you and then all you've done is whine and condescend. And it's really funny because like, you're gonna come in and do the whole like, oh, your brain can't handle it, but you haven't made an argument. And the thing is to, to imply that I don't know what an analogy is. It's funny, an analogy, you know, when you make an analogy, an analogy has mm -hmm. to actually have parallels. And the one that you made sure. does not have a parallel. That's sure, not the okay, same I, that's thing. Why, I know, I get it. That's why I said that you're, you were incapable of understanding. No, like, what that means is that, no, 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 no. I'm not letting you run away with this. This is, this means that you. I'm going through the analogy so you can understand where the I don't need you. I don't need your condescension. I don't need your condescension. Honestly, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, why? Why? You're going to school me? You're going to lean into some more sexist tropes? Because I'm about to, I'm at the point where I'm about to say, I think you are a sexist. You do need me to explain it to you because you're incapable of processing yourself. As you oh, why is that? Is it because of my is it because of my weak female brain? Is that what you're going to go into next? What which other one are you going to bring out next? You're going to talk so, down to me. You're going to mansplain to me. You're going to tell me I can't understand analogy when you can't make an analogy that actually makes sense. If I was so to just so you can't just accusing me of mansplaining. What a yeah, yeah, I am. Thing to say. Oh, absolutely. I think you are. I think so I sexist. actually believe you are. Oh, sexist. you've been rejecting wait, wait. to me this entire wait, time. Wait, wait, wait. It's man you've been rejecting this this literal entire time. Oh, hold, hold on a second. You, 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 Fanatic. You, you Fanatic. I know. I know. I know. You want to cry more. I know. You want to cry more. I know. You're going to use sexist phrases like mansplaining. Wait, wait. You think. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait, I'm wait, asking wait, a question. Wait, this is important. Wait, wait, this is important. Wait, wait, this is fucking wait, wait, important. Wait, wait. Here, let me finish my sentence and then you can respond. So yeah, you're gonna use sexist phrases like mansplaining 
and then somehow act like you're you, you're on you're from the moral high ground when you're making accusing me of mm-hmm. using sexist tropes. You absolutely. don't see that that's one hundred percent consistent. No, no, no. There's the no incon- absolutely no inconsistency oh, okay, there. Absolutely none. Yeah. You yeah. do you think the term mansplaining is is directly sexist? Do you believe that that's not a thing that happens? Do I think mansplaining? Yeah, yeah. Do you believe that people don't do mansplaining? That's two different questions. So the first no, no, no. Your first question. Yeah, go is, ahead. Yes, go ahead. Do I think mansplain- the, the phrase mansplaining is sexist? Uh-huh. Absolutely. Oh, great. Okay. I mean, why? Um, because what you're doing is you're now applying a trait, a specific mm-hmm. trait towards all men, to, to, towards men, which mm-hmm. is now no. um, result, which which now results in a prejudice mm-hmm. based on someone's sex. No, that actually is not what that means. Mansplaining. Exactly no. Do you know what mansplaining explain, means? I mean, maybe explain, I need to explain, maybe I need to femsplain this to you. Hey. Yeah, go ahead. Explain to me the distinction. Yeah, absolutely. Mansplaining is a is a term for a phenomenon that happens all the time. You believe? I'm I'm sure you're. I mean, are you a feminist? Do you believe that we oh, have no, no, like no, no, a sexist no. society or no? Oh, okay, so no, no. So really, quickly, wait, no, wait, no, no. Listen, it? answer the question. I ant- I, will, I let you okay, do yours. I will, answer, I will answer the question and then I will interject. No, okay. I'm absolutely not a feminist. I'm an oh, egalitarian. I, interesting. I'm an egalitarian. Okay. But, and then and then my interjection is simply the occurrence the the. It's because something occurs consistently doesn't justify it or or, or uh, remove the sexist properties from it. For example, if we happen to recognize in specific times in history where men happen to be particularly sexist, because it happened to be pretty consistent in culture, doesn't mean that it's not sexist. Damn. So whether or not it's a whether or, whether or not it's a phenomenon that can be observed consistently or not doesn't change the fact that it is a sexist term. Uh yeah okay I mean if you're if you're that fragile that you think the term mansplaining oh, so yeah yeah you are fragile absolutely so anytime, anytime you are absolutely fragile one hundred percent no 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 you're just fragile towards accuracy or denotation it's fragile no 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 you are absolutely fragile ah, you you so that's that wait 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 thing. hold on a second anytime I confront you with your failures you're immediately going to wait label what failure what wait number. wait wait it's, please explain it's, to me again what failure you've even managed okay. to highlight of man because I, I don't okay. think you've done a single one. Sure. I'll explain it really quickly. Uh-huh. So the idea that the failure is that by, by definition, objectively, the fact that you would be prejudiced against a specific sex would be sexism. And so when you start using a phrase like mansplaining, which obviously has ge- uh, gender properties associated mm. with it, for you to be able to deny that that's sexist and try to justify this sexist term by the idea, well, it happens pretty often and we can observe the phenomenon, means that you're literally, and, and, and then when I point that out to you, your immediate like thing is to retreat towards, oh, you're just whining. No, I yeah, don't it agree just with means you that. It means, yeah, I, I know you don't agree. Yeah. You can't but let me explain why. No, I can explain why. Go do you ahead. believe that, like, um, um, do you believe that, like, the term um, white supremacist is racist to white people? No. Okay, how? Then follow your own fucking logic and tell me how that's possible. Oh. Because by your argument, it's the exact same thing. Because the term white supremacist has the word white in it, and you say white people are can be white supremacists, then you're being racist by your own goddamn logic. And this is why I'm so frustrated. Because you are so, you're so unwilling to take an L and admit that maybe you did a little sexism there. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you were just being a little insensitive. And I was willing to grant you that at the beginning, but you've doubled down so many times here that now you're in the position where you're literally your own argument without being completely dishonest in front of our entire audiences yours and mine included you can't say that by your own logic the term white supremacist is not also racist because it says white in it it highlights a race no ah so, no. inconsistent uh, I, so, so, can i respond or oh I, come I, on I, what i let you i let you talk you're gonna let me talk you're gonna yeah let me go respond? for it go ahead let's hear what cope you've got yeah Okay, I got you. It's really yeah, simple. let's hear what Kobe's so got. Idea, so, so when you add a qualifier onto supremacist, right? Like mm-hmm. it does mean. That it, so what it is is an indication that this is something that uh, it's a specific type of this of this mm. phenomenon, right? Based on so what? Based on what? So, are, are you gonna let me? So you're not gonna let me talk? No, I am. Right? I am. Are I'm asking you, you a question. Oh, that's prevalent. When you spoke, did I let you? Did I shut up and let you talk? Uh, I kind of. So then shut bit. up. Then shut up and let me talk. Okay, so the idea is when we talk about supremacy or this idea of supremacism, it's a it's a belief system. And so when we're qualifying what white supremacy is, mm-hmm. it would be a specific belief system which happens to be um, in a specific class, right? In a specific mm-hmm. group of people, which would be white people. And the reason why we even needed such a distinction is because we happen to recognize people who had a specific supremacist belief historically in this country that was literally based around that whiteness. Now, the idea of white supremacy doesn't mean that inherently all white people 
people have this supremacy, it means that this specific brand of supremacy happens to be identifiable as something that is white. So then that's why it wouldn't be automatically racist because there is no implication that all white people naturally have it. Mm. Well, guess that's what? Here's whereas, a fun... whereas, whereas with mansplaining, it is a def it is a definition that no um, that automatically implies or is embedded in the definition that it is a trait just ha that happens to be specifically found in men. So there's an attachment of this trait specifically to a sex. Whereas with white supremacy, it's not an idea that other people can't be supremacists. It's just a specific branding of a specific type of supremacy that happens to be found right. in specific groups of people. And, and guess what? They are very distinct. Co and and mansplaining describes a very specific type of condescension very specific type of condescension that has historically been done by men to women. So yeah, it's the exact same thing. Your argument makes no sense. Only, you don't, because, your argument, you just exposed your own argument. It's only, literally, only, you're coping so hard, you won't even admit that your own argument doesn't make sense. Yeah. Only, and only, all of this, only, wait, 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 yeah, no, only, you, you had your turn, now it's my turn. You had your sure. turn, now it's my turn. Listen, you, your own argument has just been exposed and all of this is because you were so offended by the fact that I said nice sexist trope dude and now you've come on here and whined for 30 minutes about how you're definitely not fragile and you're definitely and you don't believe in feminism but you believe in egalitarianism but you definitely don't have any sexism inside of you I mean it's just pathetic at this point and sure, yeah, I do think that's fragile. I think that's basically textbook fragility. Absolutely. Sure. So here's the deal. Like the thing is like at the beauty of it, at the end of the day, like sure. literally like an insult is only as powerful as your respect for the individual who issued it. Yeah. I have literally no respect for you because right. what you've demonstrated. I mean, damn, you came in here to you, argue with you, me for an hour you, over it. What, what you've demonstrated in this conversation, mm. as you just demonstrated right there too, is your inability to want to see yourself mm. to have a civil conversation. So then at this point, yeah, I don't have very much respect for you. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to, like, I promise you I won't lose any sleep over the idea that you think I'm sexist because I won't leave any, any I sleep over I don't know, man. You. you seem like I you're losing sleep right now. Are. I'll probably forget who you are when we get out of this conversation. Oh, wait. Do you okay. think this Do you, you think this is making you look good right now? Like being like, oh, I'm, I'm cool. I won't remember you later, even though you came on my stream to whine and cope and save face. That's do you think this makes you look good? That's interesting. You would no, say no, that. I'm asking you. Do you think this looks makes you look good? I'm responding. That's interesting because you're in my Discord on my stream talking to me. Wait, you wouldn't join my Discord because you were scared of the emoji. Yeah, because you had some demon on it. That's something. Yeah, that it's a little smiling demon right emoji. There. You wouldn't join yeah. my Discord, so now you you can't look like you can't even make a single argument. That is so pathetic. What argument did you? you just you're make? like, oh, you're in my Discord. Argue me. I joined your your Discord because you wouldn't join mine because I have an e because sure. I have a we have a bot that just lets you press one of my branded emojis to join. That's it. Everybody's Discord, almost everyone's Discord has one of these. Some people use a blue check, some people use a smiley face, sure. other people... Mine just sure. happens to use one of my emotes demon. that my girlfriend made for me. I didn't, click, I didn't want to click a demon. Oh, damn. Damn, but it looks like that argument is right out the window then. So what else did you want to say about uh, Wait, something about me being on your I'm, Discord or something? Are, oh, help me again. What argument do you think you just made? Wait. Wait, I was refuting something that you were trying to make. You were trying to say I'm on your Discord when you're on my stream coping because, right. and oh, the only reason we used I your did. Discord, hey, if you don't want me in your Discord, you can just boot me out. It's literally perfectly yeah. fine. No, 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 I'm sure no, that I'm would sorry. look maybe, great maybe, for you right now. I'm sure. I'm sure yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd save it. a lot of face Here, right now. I'll walk, I'll walk you through it one Sure, more try. Time. Go ahead. You're incapable. Yeah, go yeah. ahead and mansplain again. Go for it. I got you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I genuinely do believe you're a sexist now. Post this conversation, I do believe you're a sexist. Yeah. And I Absolutely. And I think probably my audience and maybe even your audience does too i genuinely don't care what you believe sure right? but, i mean um, i mean the evidence evidence says to the other because you came on here to argue with me about it so i guess you do but 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 the reason was the reason why I specifically mentioned that you were on my Discord is you almost tried to imply or something as if I was coming onto your stream. You are you on were, my stream. As if we aren't both streaming. Yeah, you, you did come onto my stream. I asked you to come onto my so stream not, to are, talk about are it. Are we both streaming? And originally, originally, what so we are were, you on my stream too? Uh, I mean, yeah, oh, okay. but you, but right, I invited. Wait, 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 wait. But I invited you and you came because you had an, a problem with me about religion in the courts and then you came on here to whine about it and because and when sure, I explained I and wait a second hold on no, no wait listen you wanted to walk me through it and then you got lost so now I'm walking you through it okay oh, see so you came on do you remember wait wait listen hold on listen wow. remember 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 when you came on to here and then you said I had a problem with what you said about me being sexist and I said I didn't think I didn't say you were sexist. I said you used a sexist trope, and then we both agreed that you did. And then you proceeded to backpedal from that, and then cope for over an hour, and that's where we're at right now. 
So you think that I agreed that, that I used the sexist trope? Yeah, you did actually at the beginning, and I'll love I'll love it when we go back and watch the VOD, which you probably won't do because I know you're coping really hard and you'll go back and just pretend that it didn't happen, that you didn't get blown the fuck out, which you did. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, 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 I love Look, I'm, I'm happy that I can give you some content and that you'll be able to use that for yourself. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, yeah. the thing is, I'm more than willing to engage. I'm more than willing to engage in all kinds of conversations. I'm a big debatey girl. I'm not very, I don't really hide that. I'm, I like to debate. Um, but it's really funny when um, people come in here and accuse me of something that I didn't do. And then when I clarify that, they agree. And then they suddenly backpedal and start to say all kinds of other bullshit um sure. and then whine for an hour and then start to yeah, say stupid really and then start to and then start to engage in condescension and all other oh, kinds cool. of things like let me walk really you through it person that can't follow analogies i love it mm -hmm. yeah i mean it's funny it's almost like to make an analogy it actually <laughs> it actually has to make sense hey 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 listen to that you know where i've heard that before that sounds like the soygon laugh you ever watched a sargon of a cod whenever he's losing no. an argument he does this really smug laugh people call it a smuckle and that's what you just did right there I get it. Listen, it's it's the thing that you do. You're really good at it. And yeah, I, think I am. Thank you. I appreciate you feel, that. It makes you feel like you're winning arguments anytime you can quickly attach a label. Oh, it doesn't just make me. It doesn't just make me feel like it. I am winning this argument. You look like a fool right now. A complete and utter girl, fool. Only in your own mind, buddy. I mean, I'm. Yeah. I mean, if you say so. I mean, I think you came on here and you embarrassed yourself and you've whined for an hour. You didn't even bring up the thing you wanted to come on here originally to debate because you were so hurt by one throw, one single line, which still holds and was factually accurate. Yeah. Only yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I. I. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. No. I yeah, mean. Your, listen, I mean, at the end of the day, that's all that it is. But we'll see who's. We'll see who's more convinced. Who do you think yeah. is? I mean, I don't know. Maybe you think I, you did really good here with your smuckling and like and like not making an argument and really I absolutely always, failing. I'm, I'm always doing really well because of my logical consistency, which oh, is something totally. that you're incapable of. Oh yeah, you are. You are very logically consistent. Yeah, that's I something know, that I've definitely you. seen here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, something sure. about like. Like literally so, making okay, an analogy let's, that doesn't let's make get sense. Past it. So, what, what substantive argument do you want to have? What what, what do you feel like? Uh, what's something that you wait think wait be arguing wait? About? I invited you on to talk about whatever problem you had with me uh, well, about was, about my the... religion takes, which was what the actual title was. But then you came, then you started whining. So well, that was, that was it's up to you. Problem. The ball is in your court to determine what problem you have with me so, about religion. So that was that was my main problem. I don't know. I don't know. We, uh, uh, did you? If you don't feel that we had any other disagreements, then it's fine. We don't have to Wait, I mean, that. I have tons of disagreements with you. I think that I think that, um, like for example, I mean, like uh, in our first part, I I could have gone to town on on how you were um, pushing forward like Judeo Christian supremacy, which to me is uh, more or less the same thing oh, yeah, that people yeah, argue yeah. with all the time. That was but, yeah. attack. Sure. So yeah, what, sure. Do you have a, like so? I mean, you literally okay. did that. Wait, wait. How do you? How is that an attack? You're doing the right winger thing right now. You're doing the thing that like super super right wingers like Nazis do, where when you call them what they are. Are, they say it's an attack even though that's literally what they believe you literally oh. said in the you know, vod that, that, that you literal, believe that you, know, you get that that's literally textbook guilt by association wait fallacy. how is that wait wait hold on a second that's it's not guilt by wait wait wait, wait. listen hold on you go by association textbook wait fallacy. that's not guilt by association what i'm saying is you are doing the argument that oh. these people do when they're trying to hide their beliefs but in the vod you literally said that the reason why you think that the united states is better at handling nukes is because we're judeo-christian as if that is that makes us better than other nations so yes you are literally doing that thing that's not guilt by association that's me pointing out that you're doing the same thing that these fucking wild assholes on the on the far right do and you're doing the same exact thing by pushing okay. judeo-christian supremacy which you literally did in the vod anybody can go check it okay i'll help you out so a guilt by association you don't need to help me out you can you can drop the fucking condescension because you you don't look good right now you sound like an impetulant time a child a guilt a guilt by association fallacy occurs when someone connects an opponent to a demonized group like nazis mm -hmm. or people uh of people or to a bad person in order to discredit his or her argument mm -hmm. so in this situation when i'm like levy when i'm levying like or i'm, I'm pointing out to you the thing that you're doing when you like immediately want to respond instead and say oh you're doing the same thing that right wingers do or nazis do that's yeah. literally a guilt by association no that's not guilt by association guilt by association oh, okay. would guilt by association would be like if i was to say oh you have friends that are that are um that are nazis you're probably a nazi too that would be guilt by association what i'm doing is i'm no, i'm not, no oh, hold on a second guilt by association hold on a second i know i know you can't yeah, i know i know you're really itching to get some kind of a win out of this conversation it's just it's not going uh, in your favor, but what you literally did and what I literally said was I made a comparison to the way that people like Nazis and other right-wingers will hide their beliefs 
despite saying something that is literally. And then when you read back their belief to them, literally, they say, oh, you're attacking me. But I read your belief back to you literally, which is that you believe in Judeo-Christian supremacy, or at least you you advocated for that on the panel that we're on. And once again, okay. you're too cowardly to actually stand by your positions. So when I tell you the position that you hold, you back off as just like all the other right-wingers do, which is they're too afraid no. to actually hold stand by their belief. No, so I'm not literally afraid to stand by anything. So here's really? what happened. Then why are you so afraid? I, oh, listen, again, I, I get it. Maybe you just don't know me. I literally don't run from anything. Sure. So uh, the idea that I believe in Judeo-Christian supremacy, of course I'm going to believe that. I'm a, I'm a practicing Christian. And I think embedded within the text there of we the got Bible, it. Well, embedded within the text of the Bible is specifically the belief that there is one true God and that all other religions are false. So of course there's going to be some form of supremacy there. Now would yeah. I genuinely advocate for that sort of supremacy to somehow you did today. influence? Would I genuinely advocate for that sort of supremacy to somehow influence our political decisions? Not realistic. You literally did why, today. Would, you literally not, did that. Not, 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 not realistic. You literally did that today. Not, 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 not realistically, which is why. Well, I'm you're running realistic. away. You well, say not, you don't not, run away not, from anything, but not, you did this. Not, 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 not realistically, which is why I laughed my head Wait. off. As soon as no, I no, 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 no. If I can, if I can finish a statement, not realistically, which is why I laughed my. Head I was off. meaning. Wait, not, not, not realistically, as which is why I laughed my head off as soon as I finished the statement. And both Signatural and Prime Case and Pisco all made the statement that they knew that I was that I was clearly being uh, facetious. Yeah. Um. I mean, the the first part you literally said that you did believe it. Like, if we go back and watch the VOD, you said that you didn't believe that about Western, but that you did about Judeo Christian values. So again, you're running away from your own point. No, I find it, it's I, just really funny to me. You do advocate for you. You just admitted now that you are a Judeo Christian supremacist, and then you said you don't do you don't actually push for that because that would be a really bad look, wouldn't it? But you do, and you did, and you did in this in this thing, and you literally said that you were joking about the about the Western part, but you weren't joking about the the Judeo Christian part. People can go watch the VOD. People sure are going can. to watch the VOD, and it's going to sure. be really funny to show to just have it be laid plain before people how dishonest you are and how much of a coward you are. Okay. Good. I, yeah. Listen, if you feel, if you feel like there's I don't some, feel that. That's a fact. You, you are a coward. You, Absolutely, if, if, that is a fact. If, if if you feel that there's some sort of that you that you can make some sort of uh like judgment based off of a clear a very obvious joke that I made, which is yeah. why I laugh my freaking face off. No, no, it, you're not and, joking. And, and 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 literally before I even made the statement on my stream with my mic muted, I said, "Oh, I'm about to just say some nonsense." The, and and it, um, I know for a fact Pisco disagrees with me 100, mm. percent but I'm gonna lump myself in with him, and it's gonna make him uncomfortable in my stream and I were laughing about it before mm. I even spoke because Damn. I hadn't really been speaking on that topic literally at all because nice. I said I'm very uninformed about like global politics and I typically only like to focus on yeah, US cool. politics yeah. and I specifically mentioned that and I said okay but you know what here this is what I'll do and I laughed and then immediately like and and uh Signatural kept pointing it out because I kept saying yeah see so we really agree Pisco we really agree and I was really just making a joke of like aligning myself with somebody who obviously disagreed with me from the base uh, wait wait we, we agree on the same st statement okay. but in reality I knew that he disagreed right. with the statement so you, you've sort of word saladed for like, 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 like a solid get, 30 no, no, seconds. No, 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 but I have you, a question. No, I have a genuine question for you. I have a genuine sure. question for you. If that's the yeah. case, why did you say that you were joking about the Western part, but that you weren't joking about the Judeo-Christian part, unless you're being a coward right now, or you're just, it was just a prank, bro. I was just advocating for Judeo-Christian uh, supremacy, but it was just yeah. a prank. It was a prank that I said wasn't a prank, but now I'm saying is a prank because now I'm shitting my pants on, a, on a, a live and being exposed for the stupid shit that I say. Listen, I, you can try. Look, look, look. It's really ooh, simple. Oh, shit. I Damn. Not an easy. I it was know, an easy question. You, you feel was, really good. I know it was you feel like. Oh, I'm feeling fucking here. great right now. Are okay, you kidding so me? This has been amazing. This has been so, so good. It, so I get it. So is that your thing that you do? You ask a question, feel like you won. Then when a person begins the response, you immediately go, oh, no. I got you. No, what I do Dang, is what I do is I ask a whole bunch of questions. What I do is I ask a whole bunch of questions and then little, little weaselly people like you try to weasel out of them and play coward while they're actually advocating for really terrible things but they're too cowardly to actually oh. stick up with them that's what i do and i'm really okay, so good at it an and i've done that. it to you and now you know what it feels like i i don't i i just mm. feel like i know what it's like for a person to make some assertions literally have no foundation for that assertion and then depend mm. on their depend on their loosely unfounded interpretation wait it's funny and wait that, and then believe that they won based on it and then not allow you to respond and really like it's really their, funny by, though and feel, and feel like by your inability to respond that some kind of way they just prove something you're literally just jerking yourself off this entire time oh i mean at points. this point and yes I'm absolutely literally, literally yeah. a body of work that very clearly defines yeah, exactly I mean, what my stances are it's really funny it's just really funny that you 
you say that like I base all of this off of nothing when I've given very specific examples of words that you said that are available in mm -hmm. VOD form and will be available for anyone and you're just sure. too cowardly to stand by them and you sure. bank on that and that's what it seems like you're doing right here okay is that so, you're coping so, really hard you. because you've embarrassed you. yourself yeah. there goes that phrase again so listen here it's yeah. really simple let me ask you a question sure go ahead and if try I, to try to get a dunk got, off you've tried got, all night no, no, and you haven't it's, not a, it's not a matter of a dunk it's not a matter sure. of a dunk okay that, if listen, you say so. you're not smart enough to be embarrassed so mm -hmm. there's no possible way i could get a dunk on you that you're going to conceive but it's fine damn you so tried that was a good that was you. almost a good so one me, so let me ask i mean you, here's the thing i'm 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 smart enough i'm smart enough hey wait a minute you got your dunk off it's my turn now so let me so let me ask you a question you're trying so let me so let me ask you a question you're trying so so let me ask you a question you're trying but it's my turn you got your dunk now it's my turn let me talk so no, no, but it's really funny because so we're not, like we're not capable of having a conversation. Wait, wait, you already had you it. had so your turn. Wait, you had your turn. You had your turn. I think the idea you is, had your turn. The, the concept is really simple. If I'm very clearly on stream indicated with my mind, oh, not not into not into the Discord because people. Oh, uh, you're gonna talk. lie again. But, I know what you're gonna say. Wait, wait, wait let me let me just get in here. I, I know what you're gonna say. If I if I if I indicated on my stream prior to even speaking that I was about to say something that was going to be silly and that it was going to piss peace go off and laughed mm -hmm. about it with my stream before speaking would that in any way belie this like this judgment that you've made just answer that question what? yes or no no you would just be stupid and dishonest that would be okay. both stupid so, yeah. and dishonest oh, yeah so now I get it so yeah you're literally incapable there's a, so no, no, no 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 see so, see that's so the no thing no 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 see well, you had your turn now stream. my dude my no, dude no, you I'm had your turn wrong. come on now you I had your it. turn it's my turn now you had no, your no, turn. No, no. You got to go don't, off don't and say come, whatever. Don't come on here talking to someone about having their turn when literally Ooh. the entire time I'm talking, I have to repeat myself incessantly in order to get you to shut up. Yeah, for it's funny so because you always want to take more yeah, than your turn. You want to yeah, say all kinds that. of stupid bullshit and run off sure. and, sa and, and pretend and pretend that you're actually getting dunks when you're really not and you're actually just falling on your face. Because here's the sure. thing. The really funny thing is, is that if you were just joking about all of that, including the part where you told the panel that you were joking about the Western part, but not the Judeo-Christian supremacy, I will treat you exactly like the, anybody who walked on a stage and said something like, oh, I was just joking about saying that I support white supremacy. I would treat you the exact same way because you're both being, your, your joke was stupid and you're being dishonest about your position now. So that's why. I know it's like you want to keep saying I'm dumb or that I'm incapable of embarrassment, but it's really funny because you're the one shitting your pants on live stream right now and I'm not. And you're the one who's making yeah. arguments in defense of reprehensible positions and then backing off once you realize you've been caught in a corner because you can't take an L because your ego's too big. Okay, are you done? Can I, can I respond? Now? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, so yeah, so it's really simple. I, I, mm. And I, I get it. Like, it's, it, there's literally nothing that can fix you on that. If I very clearly have been arguing on this panel for like months at this point, mm. and I very clearly on my stream made the statement that mm. I'm going to say something really silly and sure. ridiculous and have a laugh about it, and then made the statement and then immediately laughed and then recognized and then continued to double down on that laugh. Yeah, if that if that's yeah, not but... enough, if, if, if literally before making the statement, me making the statement that I'm going to say something that's going to be silly and ridiculous and I'm going to turn the argument on its head, and I wanted to move on to the top. I wanted to switch topics. And I said that at least 10 times because I really wasn't invested in that specific conversation. Mm -hmm. If that's not enough for you, I get it. So you've already hardcore committed towards this idea that in, that I have this idea that somehow, whatever. Like you already committed to- What your are you elite, talking about? And there's, no, and there's nothing that I can say that can dissuade you from it. So there's no point. We can no, wait, what are you talking about? This has nothing to do with what we're talking about. That was like literally a non sequitur. What, what I was saying is that you, wait, wait, hold on. I'll help you, I'll help you. No, 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 no. Don't you do your stupid condescending thing. You you had your turn. I let you talk. Now you got to okay, do the go same ahead. for me. All right. So ahead. here's the thing I'll that this. that had nothing to do with what we were talking about. It literally doesn't even like you're talking about something completely else. The, the, the point is, is that you came on this stream, this stream in this conversation we've had and said you do believe in Judeo-Christian uh, uh, fucking supremacy. So the fact of the matter is you weren't joking. you just can't take an L. You can't hold up to your own goddamn positions. Wait. That's the problem. So wait, no, 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 no. You believe in in supremacy. You, when, You're willing to go on panels say, and advocate for supremacy. Say, when you say when you say Judeo Christian supremacy, what does that mean to you? Wait, you literally said you when literally you say, word for word. When you say, I'm asking you a question. Yeah. When you say 
Judeo-Christian supremacy, what does that mean to you? Wait, wouldn't the better question be, what does it mean to you? Because you're the one who believes in it? What does that mean to you? Can you answer my question? Yeah, absolutely. It's the idea that just because um, you believe in, in a Judeo-Christian religion, whatever that means, which that in and of itself is a dog whistle that's regularly used by people who are talking about other things. Um, if you say that you believe in that just because you believe in a Judeo-Christian religion that you're somehow morally or ethically superior to somebody else, that's what I mean when I say that, uh, that that's a, 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 a Judeo- Christian supremacist view. It's the idea that your religion somehow gives you a better ethical framework than other people of other religions who may have very just as valid uh, ethical or moral frameworks. Oh, and sure. you agreed okay. to that. So, yeah. And so, you also so, yeah. said, okay, wait, okay, I got you, uh, okay, you asked me for my okay. thing. So I'm giving you it. So, and no, then no, you're, you're, you're passing from definition. No, and now you're going to your accusation, but that's no fine. I'm ahead. not. I'm showing you Go how ahead. these two connect. You see, because you came on here and you said you are a Judeo-Christian supremacist. And during the panel, you said you, you advocated for multiple things during that section that should, that would follow from Judeo-Christian supremacy. And then you said you were joking about the Western one. So now what you're doing is flipping all over the place and trying to save face because you're trying to hide behind your own beliefs, but you don't even know which one you're going to hold. Because about right now, what it feels like is like you're trying, you're here trying to like save your ego and not actually be honest about what your beliefs are. Because if you were honest about your beliefs, you would just say, yeah, I'm a Judeo-Christian supremacist and I advocate for Judeo-Christian supremacy of viewpoints, which is what you did and do. Okay, so really simply, from the way that you explain Judeo-Christian supremacy, mm -hmm. I absolutely uphold that belief system, for sure. I absolutely believe Finally. that. Finally. Uh, okay, no. You're saying finally. Yeah, finally. I, finally, I, you're I, actually wait, wait, owning wait, wait, up wait, to wait, your wait, positions wait, instead okay, of being a little okay. coward. So, so can I speak? So you, you're saying finally. When you first, when I first came to your channel, I didn't want to click the thing specifically because I told you I'm a pretty hyper religious individual. Yeah, I literally do not ever hide that. There's Everyone nothing wrong about being about religious. Me. There's oh, a problem with being I supremacist. Literally, I literally, I literally do not ever hide that. Yeah. Everyone who knows, I get it. You, you're really incapable of letting me speak, but it's okay. So my thing is, I've 100% maintained it from the beginning. I absolutely believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I absolutely believe that the Holy Bible is is the true written Word of God. I absolutely, absolutely believe in moral objectivity as founded mm -hmm. specifically mm -hmm. by the Bible. Okay. I believe that's my personal belief, and I, I absolutely believe that it is the superior and the most objective and purest form of the law, 100%. Okay, that's cool. that's fine. So all of those things. I don't know why you in some kind of way thought that I was running from these things, right. but no, in no way would I ever, ever run from that. That has been like literally the thing that has defined me the most. So yeah, you're just but you did, and you, and you somehow believe. But you did, some kind of, Wait, and You, you had your turn. You got to share. No, 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 no. You're going to let me finish. And you somehow believe that some kind of way that that would make me uncomfortable comfortable the thing that is literally defined my entire life oh yeah you just don't understand you've been so Listen. busy on the attack that you haven't even asked, oh, no, no, no. asked me anything I mean, to think me enough for me to respond to affirm this thing i didn't understand yeah yeah this is ridiculous you can say whatever you want like but the fact of the matter is that you look i'm not the one who's ashamed of your viewpoints i'm very openly in disagreement to judeo-christian supremacy you're the one who refused to acknowledge it and wiggled around for hours until i pinned you down and then you finally admitted it so it's you who's you ashamed of your you views you no 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 you had had your turn now it's my turn what you had your turn to run all over things and say whatever bullshit you want and give your stupid yeah. spiel but what yeah. you actually did here is you came into this conversation and you weaseled out of your own beliefs so it's you who's ashamed of your own beliefs and nothing else and you can try and spin it on me but the fact of the matter the record shows that's not the case i tried to engage you on your beliefs and you've pivoted and pivoted and pivoted to a bunch of fragile little points about how you're offended about this or funded about that and that's all this okay. conversation has been all right, so here, let, let's go ahead and let's step back real quick. And we're gonna re, we're gonna work from the beginning here. Okay, like honestly, let me finish. We're not gonna work from the beginning. I'm sorry. So let's just move forward, okay? Okay. I, I I will answer literally any question you have that you think that I would be running from. You can ask any question and I will answer it. Uh -huh. If you are, yeah, because I, I I there's some real weird thing happening here where you're so busy thinking that you're getting slam dunks and already jerking yourself off. No, I, I'm actually just getting the slam dunks. Let me, let me finish my point. I'm just and getting them. Jerking, yeah. And let me finish my point. Yeah, yeah. And jerking and jerking yourself off based sure, off sure. of these conclusions uh -huh. that I've literally that some kind. What of is any of this? Is this an argument? Some kind of, uh, can, can, okay, so you're not capable of having a. No, a, is, a, is this an argument? You said you were going to give me an argument, and what you're doing is. No, no, listen. Capable of having sure, a realistic conversation. Sure. I mean, so, are you going to rage quit now? Because like, I don't know. Okay, you seem so, like you're so, getting so, really, so, really worked up. No, 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 no. It's just it, 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 what's really happening here is as I'm recognizing is you're literally not capable of having a basic yeah, okay. conversation. I mean, definitely. So Despite giving, the fact that I have giving, tons of conversations I'm, I'm, I'm with tons of people I'm that giving, aren't I'm as giving, fragile as you. I'm giving, I'm giving you the opportunity. You can interrogate any beliefs that you believe I had. Yeah. I will answer them as honestly as I possibly can. But wait, you came here to do that to me. This is this is you came here to disagree with me. And then you came here and just whined. 
and wind and you're still doing it and you literally wait a minute hold on a second wait wait i made my disagreements i made my disagreements clear with you on the panel i made them very clear you were the one who had an issue with me that you brought up in the final statement that we haven't even talked about yet you brought that up and I invited you to come on here and talk about it and instead you came on and whined and then when I when you just said you were going to give me an argument all you did was say was say literally stupid personal attack nonsense that don't even tie to anything. So it's really okay. funny. So like what is your what did you actually come here to talk about besides like again massaging those egos and and licking your wounds? If that's what you okay. So so the, my my question is where do we move forward from here? Is there anything else that you would like to talk about? I mean, I'm up to talk for for just about anything. I'm having a great time. Okay, so which of these beliefs do you think that I was running from? And which one do you think that Wait, I you already did that part. We already settled that part. Like, okay, so, I, so I know you're... We, all right, so we're settling that. So then there's nothing that I'm running from? Wait, I mean, I don't know. Like, is there? You 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 have to decide that. I don't know. Like, again, oh, if, if you want to talk I, I about... Know, I mean, listen, hold on, wait, wait. You asked me a question. You know, question, I'm, 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 you, oh know I, you know I believe I'm not running from anything. Well, you literally did, though. So you're You literally did. No, no, no. You literally did do that. Like, I mean, you can't just... You can't just listen. Hold on a second. Listen. Hold on a second. I got it. Listen. Yeah. You came on and you just did that. We just settled that. And then you have pivoted away to try and say, I'm guessing maybe because you're starting to get embarrassed about that position, but whatever it is, you've said you want to talk about something else now. So I'm asking, what the fuck do you want to talk about? No, Wait, because no, 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 because you ran from your own positions and we already worked that out and I pinned you down. And then you admitted that, oh yeah, I'm a supremacist, all this shit like that. And then that proved that everything that you said before was you running from it because you contradicted yourself. So now let's talk about something else because you've already proven that you, you don't speak honestly about your views on those things. Maybe you'll speak more honestly on something else. If you want to talk about it, I'm fine to talk about whatever. I think you had an right. issue with my take on religion in the courts, which I'm absolutely willing to stand by. So it really seems like again that you're being very dishonest here. The very first. What time am I being dishonest about? The very first. I feel like if, if I can finish a statement. Yeah. The very first time that, that you ever brought up the phrase Judeo-Christian supremacy, I immediately said yes. Did I not? Wait. You said that you asked me if I was a Judeo-Christian supremacist. Yeah, and, and then my, you. My but initial, my, that's my not initial. But my, my initial response to that was uh -huh. yes, right? It was yes, and. You okay. said, wait, 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 hold on. Hold on a second. Wow. No, we don't. You can't weasel out of it. See, you're doing the Weasley thing again. You're doing the Weasley thing <laughs> so again. It's really it funny. It's so funny. You're, 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 you're literally, wow. you're so dishonest. You're, you're so you're dishonest. Off. Listen, wait, wait. You Do you not want it? Like, we could rewind the VOD and we can go, you said, yeah, I'm a Judeo-Christian supremacist. And then you said something else, which I took I took what issue I with. You said, I but I don't advocate for Judeo-Christian supremacist policies. And I said, but you did. And then you no. weaseled. And then you weaseled. No, I never, I yeah, yeah. So it is you weaseling. Look at that. No, no, you've, no, 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 this no. is this whole thing is oh. a game of whether you're hoping that I will forget what you've said in this conversation, but I'll let you into something. When it comes to debates, I have a fucking great memory and I don't forget what people say. And I didn't forget what you said either. So you can't do this little weaseling Fox News run arounds and circles thing that, 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 that right wingers like to do that you like to do. I'm not going to fucking play with that. That's bullshit. I know what you said. Okay. I remember what you said. It's sure. weasel. It's so, weasel as fuck. Okay. So, yeah. So here's where it's crazy. So, yeah, sure. Um, based on your definition of what a Judeo Christian supremacist is, it's just a person mm -hmm. that believes that their, their ideology and their Christian faith happens to be superior to other religions. I absolutely do believe that. Would I ever advocate for it? Do I, do I advocate for like a separation of church and state for the most part? Absolutely. Would I advocate for that literally having an influence on our like policies? Absolutely not. I've never made oh. those assertions. I've but you did. That we should have, I've always argued that we should have a separation of church and state. I've never made so. So, aside from the time that I just did in the stream in which I very clearly indicated beforehand that I was going to make this joke and mm -hmm. they, there's chat and they have the history of it where they specifically said okay I'm ready for it I think like, yeah, I'm gonna turn this whole argument upside down mm -hmm. just being silly so besides that individual yeah. time there's never been a history and I've talked about mm -hmm. this topic for quite some time I've never yeah. who, who are you trying to convince I've, right I've, now I've, I've, I've literally never advocated for Christianity to be embedded into our actual policy except so, yeah except and, when but, you but, did but, but if you want to maintain except when the you did. idea if you if you want to maintain the idea that based on a single jest during a platform in which four different people pointed out that I was jesting, mm. like that the, if, you, if, if that's the only thing you're going to go off and I get it, that's your first impression of me, that's fine. You can maintain that, whatever. I have no interest in trying to uh, prove to you otherwise. I'm just making the statement now. And if you want to say that it's Weasling, that's your prerogative. Yeah, it is Weasling. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Okay, I got you. That's fine. If you want to make that statement, that's your prerogative. Uh, absolutely. I've never, yeah, I'll stand I have by never, that. I will never advocate for uh, my, my Christian supremacist ideology to be embedded yeah. into the freaking laws. <laughs> Except for when you do, you know, except for when those inconvenient times when sure. you do. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, that makes total sense. It makes total sense. And you know what? It's funny.
funny because I don't think you're convincing anyone because everyone here watched the panel. Everyone here heard your words and now hears you weaseling out of them. Sure. Yeah. That's your belief system. That's fine. No, no, I, I mean, it's not just my belief system. It's just what happened. It's just what yeah, actually I, happened. I, I, I know that, that I know that, that some people have like, you know, some people like to lie or say that things didn't happen, but some of us do have a memory and are okay with calling it out when people aren't being honest. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. right. so yeah. So, any, so what's the next topic? What do you, what else I mean, I don't know. Do you want to keep talking about stuff? I mean, I think you had I a problem. About whatever. Whatever, yeah, I whatever think, I mean, I know you always want to jump to the next one, but it's okay. We can talk to the next about the next one. I know you had a problem. I think you had a problem with my take on, um, on religion in the courts or disqualifying people. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Yeah, okay. Sure. So that was a statement that you made that was yeah. actually just retarded. Maybe oh, maybe hey, 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 hey. We do not allow our slur on this stream. Sorry, bud. Okay, which yeah. is just ridiculous. Uh, what do you mean it's just ridiculous? I'm, I'm Whoa, listen, I got, I got, so listen. I can't say ridiculous either? No, you can say ridiculous. You okay, just, we so don't allow the arsler. Let me explain. So no, 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 there's a very what, good you, reason for this. What? Wait, we don't, we don't allow the arsler. You just dropped the arsler. Which, which is why I changed it to ridiculous. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. I just, you okay. just had a big, you are just you, had a problem. Are you, are you good? Okay. Are you good? Yeah, I it's it, just. I know the victim wait, wait, wait! You do. All right, all hold right, on a second. Right. No, 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 no! Hold on a second. It's Before you wait, 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 wait! Listen. Uh... Before you run around and say this stuff, it's TOS. People have been removed from that for TOS. I know some people get away with it, but first of all, I don't agree with the use of that word. First of all, but secondly, it's TOS. So I do have like a, you know, we have to obey by the rules of this platform. There have been people who've been banned for this and we have to have the rules. The rules are the rules. If you don't like them, I mean, I don't know. Go cry about you. it more like you did hey, this whole conversation. How long have you been partner? Uh, I'm not a partner. I'm an affiliate. Okay. Yeah. All right. Never mind. Never it's cool. Mind. All right. So anyway, so look. So here it is. So um, so you said uh, signing a pact or agree or making a pact or a vow that mm -hmm. you would put your religion before everything else mm -hmm. should possibly disqualify you from political power. Positions. Yeah, absolutely. Do you remember making that statement? Yeah, absolutely. I stand by it. Okay. So do you are mm, would you be? Or does it make sense to you that if, if would it, would you think it's reasonable of me to say that most people? That have strong Christian values or strong religious values typically have that pact or that vow to to have that religion be the preeminent thing um, on on their value system and on on um, like that 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 thing will always take preeminence preeminence over literally everything else in their life. Mm, it depends, actually. I mean, I don't know. Um, I grew up really super Christian, and in my church, for sure, that would have been the case. But I would also argue that somebody. Somebody who um, like avidly um, subscribed to the cult that I grew up in would should should not be on the Supreme Court. They absolutely should not. That's be. a different question. That's yeah, but no way. But I'm answering your question directly. I oh. I do think that um I I do think that uh, that um that these sort of oaths like I don't think that um all all necessary. Like I mean I, I'm sure there's most people do whether we admit it or not. Like openly admit it or not, almost everyone puts their own personal morals above anything that a state would say. I mean that's how humans work we have our own internal moral system sure. and i don't think that's necessarily an oath so do i think that like a christian who prays at night and says uh i love you god that's not the like question. wait wait yes it is hold on it is actually absolutely the question do i think that a christian who um prays to god and says i will always put you first lord and whatnot um is like somehow disqualified from the church no i don't think so i just think as i said that there are cases where it is the case so for example i can give you an example of this um sure. if you for example were a part of a um, um, a like a sect of Christianity that made you swear an oath that if you were ever to get into a position of power, that you would use that position of power to empower the church. That would be disqualifying. That is the exact type of oath that I'm talking about. And there are sure. oaths that have been like that in the past. Yeah. So what, um, what, what problem do you have with my viewpoint? Okay. Well, it's because now you've clarified it a little bit more. And that position is obviously something that's a little bit more agreeable. And yeah. I don't think you'd find very many people that would disagree with you. But that, that's very, now you've like added some qualifiers on there, right? Well, specifically, yeah, nobody the asked me about it. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. So can I respond? Sure. So specifically the qualification that this person has to have vowed to value their church over what i mean to use their power specifically for the interests of the church sure. and i think that would be very disqualifying and i don't yeah. think anybody would ever disagree with that but okay. that wasn't the initial statement that you made the initial statement you made was just any any time let me read it again uh anytime someone signs a pact or makes a vow they would put their religion before everything else which in that that statement could obviously loosely be interpreted now that you've like very specifically interpreted to use their their position of 
of power yeah. for the interests of the church, that's very different than just the idea that you would put that put your faith first. Well, and I, I, so the, the reason why I need to think that there's a very clear distinction there is that most people, like Christians, typically vow to serve God and put God before literally everything else. Like um, um, like is, Islam does the same thing. Maybe. Um, Jews do the same thing. Um, like so, know. so in all in all Abrahamic faiths, there's this belief that God would come forth. Um, obviously, in even, I mean, I think even it's most beliefs offers, in like, general, Latter, Latter Day Saints and so on and so forth, yeah. all those people believe that way. So then that's why it seemed like that's different. But if once you draw that specific distinction, then yeah, I think I could agree with you. But let's yeah. let's walk it back to the non-distinction that you made. Well, well, wait, guess, wait, because no, well, the thing is, is nobody asked me about that. Nobody asked me for any further clarification. What I did literally say was that if you've sworn some kind of oath, that could be disqualifying, and it should be something that we should talk about. Absolutely. That's such a vacuous Wait, statement. Wait, it's not a vacuous pretty, statement. Wait a minute. It that's... is very vacuous, and I'll explain why. Like, literally, the, just the idea. If you've sworn an oath, then it could be disqualifying. Well, yeah, absolutely. Like, well, sure, well, sure. Wait, wait, that's what I the mean, question well, was. Uh, can I respond? Jesus Christ. Wait, wait. You, you went okay, for, like, a long time. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, no, like, like, like. You went for a long time, then you asked me a question, then I answered it, and then you immediately jumped into about how it was vacuous, and then I tried to defend yeah. myself. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And then yeah. explain how it's not vacuous. Yeah, it's not vacuous. Like, first of all, like, these were opening statements. Anybody could have asked at any point for me to clarify on that position. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess Dylan didn't really like it, but we never really even got to go into it further because it went off on you and Pisco had a whole thing for a long time where you were talking back and forth on that one. Um, but, like, the, the reality is that um, the reason why I don't think it's vacuous is that, um, and there's a number of ways, but the first, the first First reason is that like we're talking about the, the Supreme Court of the United States of America. We only have we have a very select few people who get that position and we need to be very picky about who we let take that position. So when we're talking about oaths, Christian oaths, we should absolutely or or any oath for that matter. You could make it like a satanic oath. Like can you imagine if like a Levian Satanist, like a um Ayn Rand style like Levian Satanist was to make an oath that like I will put myself first before anything else and it was discovered that they were that they made that oath and that they upheld that oath and they were being considered for the court I think that would disqualify them I believe that that would disqualify them because like I don't think that it's a, any oath that says that when we're considering the Supreme Court and keep in mind I have my problems with the institution of the Supreme Court but within the question if we're talking about what's on the Supreme Court, we need to do our best to make sure we get the most impartial people that we possibly can for that position, because otherwise we end up in the situation that we have right now, which is a really slanted court that doesn't do justice, but instead enforces a, you know, a polarized politics based on whoever's in power at the current time to, you know, when one passes away. So, so that's not vacuous get, at all. It's very vacuous. And oh, here's why. Okay. Because literally all you basically did was just talked around the issue. How did I talk around that? I'm asking. I'm just literally. Wait, we do not know, like, like, it, like. I've only been speaking for three seconds. Wait, I just asked the question. Like, and you got me to shut up, and I shut the hell up. Now you shut the hell up and let me talk. Okay. 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 So yeah. So the reason why I'm saying it's very vacuous is because this idea immediately becomes. There's, I mean, there, there's a big problem. Like if you make a general statement that it can be so loosely interpreted that it really doesn't say much, right? That it can. It, it's so widespread and generalized that it can apply to very pretty much anything that's why i'm saying it's very vacuous right like mm -hmm. so um like yeah like so so just, just a statement that like yeah if someone is if someone took an oath we should we should investigate that oath it's like well yeah of course literally no per i don't think there's any person that would argue that we shouldn't we shouldn't evaluate the oaths of a supreme court justice which is why that statement doesn't say anything because it's something that i think literally every person would you're, agree you're it's when you start getting into the it's when you it's when you start getting into the specific applications of this general statement that you start drilling down and starting to recognize like oh wait a minute okay now we get to the meat of meat of the matter right wait, wait. because yeah in general if you were just to ask me do you think if someone took oaths someone took an oath that we should probably evaluate that oath it's like well yeah sure like it's like okay so what if they just took an oath to be a christian and it's like well i don't think that i don't i don't know if that would necessarily need to be evaluated what if they took an oath to be a muslim and it's like well no i don't know that that necessarily needs to be evaluated it's like okay like like any like, okay what if they took an oath to a cult to like supersede like the the the, the uh, whatever the nation wants for their for the church's names it's like wait okay no, no now we're getting to specifics wait, right so wait, it's wait, like wait. It, it, that's why i said it's vacuous it's, it's not just, va it just, wait, it's, it's not vacuous like you like okay like that's that's not vacuous what i made is a statement that here's the thing i made the statement that we should keep in mind that these oaths can be very important and then you disagreed with that and then now i've clarified and now you're saying that my statement was vacuous when i was making just a statement that you are now you appeal to everyone say nobody would disagree with that but i don't think that's true 
I don't think you can just appeal to no the idea apparently. that nobody would disagree with that because I think there's a lot of people who would. I, in fact, I know there are because I know people. I mean, I grew up in a church of people that would disagree with that, that would say that, no, they do have a right and that we shouldn't be inquisiting their oaths because they have a they have a desire to put extreme Christians onto the court. So no, there are a lot of people no, who don't no, actually believe that. Question those people, like, yeah, 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 yeah uh, this isn't about cult Olympics, right? But wait, it's not about cult Olympics. Olympics. That's oh, not, uh, wait, uh, I'm uh, just I saying that there are people. So you can understand what I'm saying, Jesus. All right, so yeah, this isn't about cult Olympics, <laughs> right? Like, cause I was raised in a cult myself. So, sure. Like, but, I, but, so the, the, I, but the idea that like the cult, if you were to ask that cult specifically, whether or not they would hold the same beliefs if it was somebody that was outside of their cult taking oaths, and I guarantee you all of them would say, well, yeah, we should investigate that. So if it's like, hey, so this person took, this person that's not a poor portion of, you, of, of, of your cult made an oath, do you think we should interpret it? Literally, unequivocally, you're gonna get yes, right? Like unanimously. So like the, the idea, like that's why I said it's vacuous. Wait, but that's because, not a problem with sure, my statement. Huh? That's not a problem with my statement. That's a problem with the double think of cults and cults and cultists being dishonest. That's not a problem with no. my statement. My statement is that as a, as a country, we need to take these oaths seriously, regardless of who they're made to, because the oaths can show that they might have a bias. Do you see? Okay. So my so statement is isn't semantic. vacuous. It's, semantic. it's not semantic. Wait, wait. Yeah, what do you yeah, mean yeah, it's semantic? Yeah. Well, you are saying that. it's vacuous, and I'm saying it's not. And then like. I get you. So yeah, I can recognize at this point. That, I'm sorry. So the the reason that the thing that I'm recognizing now is regardless of how much I try to explain, like uh, like we've gone over the vacuous things, and it's just going to be circular, right? Like I feel like I've explained myself as much as I possibly know how to, and it seems like you disagree. Yeah, There's I do. no way that I'm going to find different words, or whatever stuff. I'm saying like, okay, okay. Well, I don't have to worry about the words uh, vacuous anymore. Like, okay, well. Find another way of phrasing it such that we, we maybe we can get past this. Okay. Angle. So Are what the, what first? happened here again is that as the same thing that happened on the panel is that you asked me you you argued with me a whole bunch and then I restated my opinion and then you said yeah but I agree with that. So the thing is is like you clearly agree with my statement and whether we agree that it's vacuous or not like no. like who doesn't matter because you agreed with it you said you said that in my original the base statement i don't agree with the base statement but you did though you said you did no, though. No, 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 no. you said no, no one would disagree no, 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 with no, no, it no 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 i don't agree with your base statement i agree with the specificity that you uh, uh, that you clarified with your qualifiers i agree with that specific that but, specific thing but the base general statement i do not disagree with you For just example, said you just uh, said you know, literally hold on i'm sorry but you okay. just said that no one would disagree with my original statement, which is, as a justification for why it's vacuous. Your argument is you're invalidating your own argument. You said that no one would disagree with my original statement, and that's why it's vacuous. And now you're saying you don't agree with my original statement. So what is I, it? Which one is it? You can't have both. Okay. That's logically so, inconsistent. So, so I don't agree that the original statement has any merit to it because it's vacuous. It's so vacuous that literally any person can agree with it. However, hmm. if we're trying to use this, if we're trying to use this as some sort of a like prescriptive idea, then at that point I'm going to disagree with it because I don't think it does enough. I think it's very vacuous. So I, I disagree with it as a prescription. Hmm. Does that make sense? No. That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, I get it. That's why I'm saying we just need to move on. Well, I just don't I mean, think we've moved on, moved on. We keep moving on on every one, and you keep like not having good arguments for them. So yeah, dude, that's crazy. So look, I, I, it's really nuts to me. I, I, it's every time we come to this impasse, right? Like it's it, it's we're at this point where like I could easily like I'm trying my best to be civil, mm. um, but it's, it's really it, 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 Okay, I won't be anymore. Okay, for the okay. rest of this conversation, I'm just not going to be. No, I'm, I'm just so I'm, asking. I'm, I'm like, going to be a giant douchebag. I mean, at this point, I, I would argue you have then, then, then maybe your shallow brain will be able to understand that really it's not a matter of you winning these arguments. It's just you're too stupid to be embarrassed when I'm pointing out to you the illogical inconsistencies in your failed brain. You, your brain sucks dick. So this whole time when I keep saying like, true, I recognize. So true. What really, is, what really, what really happens is I recognize every time like, oh man, we're going to keep drilling down here, but. I mean, you just you just you just popped what out I another realized, fucking what i realized is we're gonna keep drilling down here and this dude is really incapable of even following the logic and so then it's like man you know what in order to spare him let's just move on to another topic and maybe we'll find some places where we can agree because by the way i, I use she I her pronouns i, I would appreciate you, you use my pronouns correctly huh i use she her pronouns i would appreciate you use them correctly Wait, what do you mean when, when did I... you just said you just multiple times referred to me as a as as he and then i asked you and then oh i sorry i apologize i didn't hear that i'm sorry i, I didn't mean to fine. do that yeah yeah 
Sorry, she. I, I, yeah. I genuinely would not intentionally misgender yeah, someone. It's, it's all good. I mean, here's the thing. I feel like um, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. Um, I feel like you've been a douchebag this entire conversation and a sure. sexist. And also you just popped out like this the, this brain sucking dick thing. It's just like, damn, you sure have it. And you drop the R slur. You sure have a whole lot of like these um these really like prejudiced things that you drop out a lot. And I think mm -hmm. that just confirms exactly what I said at the very beginning. And um, okay. yeah, we haven't really made much progress because you've basically just come on here to like so you're know. not capable of logic, sure. Yeah, I mean that's that's a way to put it, I guess. Yeah, I guess yeah, that's a way to put it for for sure. Yeah. 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 If, if that's your conclusion, and um, I, I'm I'm just I'm just very happy to know that um, I wasn't the one embarrassing myself in this case, and uh, it feels it. great, it feels fucking you're too good. Stupid to be embarrassed. Yeah, you're totally. Not smart to be oh yeah, embarrassed. definitely. That's that's, that's definitely what it is. That's what it always is. It's um when when you get blown the fuck out in an argument, you have no arguments, and you result to really petty insults. You say a bunch of uh really sexist stuff in the name of defending yourself from a a really 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 small comment about you using a sexist trope it definitely sure. comes off that your debate opponent is the one who's dumb and not you and not you I who's embarrassed it. and desperately trying to save face in front of your, your audience buddy, who's probably laughing buddy, at you frame frame away yeah. Look, at the end of the day yeah, i'm great. pretty sure everyone can recognize that the person that came into the conversation and is literally incapable of seeing themselves or any kind mm -hmm. of introspection and is literally just trying every opportunity they get to levy some sort of attack so that they can try to obtain some moral high ground because they're incapable of an actual argument and instead just thinks mm -hmm. that if I just label an attachment here, some kind of way it wins the argument. I yeah, get it. Like, maybe. Yeah, that's, that's, that's I mean, it's, it's weird stuff. because that's it's like, it's like you are retelling, stop. you're retelling this, this story. It's like, it's like you're trying to reassure yourself. But in reality, I've made sure. multiple arguments and I've also actually backed up what i've said with facts that we've talked about and yet sure, here you are anyone. still coping still incapable of, of, of taking the l despite the fact that you've had to rotate off of every single issue that we've talked about tonight because you're a weaselly coward who doesn't actually stand by their beliefs that's what i have to say yeah, so. I believe that you believe that. You yeah, yeah, of else? course. Now, is there? Yeah, no, that's the question I have for you because um, it is getting a little late, and I'd love to spend time talking to um less insufferable people. Um, sure. but yeah, so it was it was interesting to talk with you for sure. Um, maybe in the future we'll have a conversation where you're not as fragile or inconsistent or weaselly, and that would be great. Okay, and maybe in the maybe in the future you'll make statements that aren't so vacuous that they generally apply to literally everyone. I mean, the one that you said that you would literally agree with. Literally, everyone agrees with. Yeah. like like the, like, like making these vacuous statements and then and then finding that we're going in circles over yeah. and over and over again. I mean, it's funny because you said you agreed out. with I mean, my statement, know, I can, so I guess. I can only hope. Yeah. I can only hope. Damn. Yeah. yeah. And so, and Maybe so in the future you won't agree right. with things that you that, that you then try to justify aren't correct. I mean, I know it's hard to keep logic straight in your head, but you know when you justify saying when you say that that something is vacuous so that everyone would agree with it, and then you say but I don't agree with it, then that's a little weird, right? Because it seems like you're contradicting your literal argument in in the sentence that you follow it with. Mm, yeah, it's kind, yeah, it is kind of weird to do an argument like that, and I it know, would indicate it's, it's, that it's actually. I get, it, I get it. It's too nuanced for someone to understand the concept. Yeah, I, I love. Idea, I, it's it's too it's too nuanced. Yeah. for someone to understand the concept that an argument. My, my favorite is, form of it's, nuance it's too, is contradiction. It's, it's, too, it's, yeah. too, it's too nuanced. Yeah, for a person, it's too, it's too nuanced. When I go into person, when I go into a public too, place too, and embarrass too, myself, too, I call it nuanced. It's too, it's too nuanced. For a yeah. person to be, it's too nuanced for a person to be able to understand that an idea can be so vacuous that it's really um, not a good choice mm. for any sort of prescriptive claims um, because of the fact that somebody can, agree, because of the fact that it's so vacuous that everyone would agree with it. Well, so then you disagree with I it. I think we can both agree. Our favorite. I get, it. I get it. I get your brain. Can't I think we can both agree. I think okay. we can. Listen, I think we can Try. both agree. I think we can both agree that, oh, um, the, uh, yeah, that my favorite form of nuance is self-contradiction. I love it when, sure. I, yeah, n that's the, my sure. favorite form of adding nuance is to contradict yeah. myself within a sentence of the argument that I've just made. And that type of nuance always proves that your argument is definitely the one that's correct. Okay. So yeah, uh, any, any other hot memes you want to hit me up with before you go? Want to drop any more slurs or anything like that before you head out? Uh, what, what slur did I call you? Oh no! You just dropped the R slur earlier. I just I just wanted to ask if you had any other slurs you wanted to drop. You know. God. Listen, you want very badly to be a victim, and I, I'm sorry. I, I like. Oh, I'm not the victim. It's the I other people that, that that would be offended by that slur. It's just I just wanted to yeah. check if you had any more you wanted to get out of your system. You I know. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Well, be, well, before we go, do you have anything else? Do you want to try to make some more like moral like <laughs> impositions on my character? That, that no, I'm done. I I made all my moral imp oh, impositions. Done? Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty confident okay. in the arguments I made. Yeah. All right, well, those were pretty good. Like, you, you have a lot of them. I appreciate that's that. Like, I think they're like great, that's too. That's the entirety of your argument. Yeah.
Um, I thought my my entirety of my argument was pretty fucking solid. Definitely. Yeah, I stand I by it. I know you sure. think so because you're not smart enough to be embarrassed. Yeah. I mean. Good talk though. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, uh, have a good night, I guess. All right, you too, man. Don't Peace let the out. demons bite. Bye bye. <laughs> Damn, that was fun as fuck. That was fun as fuck. Damn. Listen, now listen. That's why you don't you don't say stupid bullshit against the demon mama. Was his chat molding too? Yeah, they should have been. I'm sure their brains were literally melting. That was one of the stupidest arguments I've ever had with anybody. Absolutely one of the most cowardly, weaselly people I've ever, ever fucking debated with. That was wild. Yeah, I know. I know he did that. I know he did that. I caught that. Don't worry. I caught him doing that at the end. Yeah, yeah. It'd be That was fun as fuck. Yeah, his mods kept misgendering. He kept misgendering. He misgendered me after I, after I asked him, even though he knows this. You know, come on. He drops the R slur. I don't know. I feel like that was fucking case in point. And I'd love for anyone to disagree with me. Because I'll fucking... Come on.